The idea of ratios is really important when we're trying to measure the performance of many different areas, not just accounting, but the performance of job performance and stuff like that, sports performance, all these types of things. We're going to use we're going to use ratios. So now we want to take a look at some transactions and see what's going to be the effect on these ratios here. So we have these transactions over here. What we're going to do is hide a few cells first so we can see uh, the information as close together as possible. I'm going to hide column G over to K. So I'm going to put my, my cursor on G, left click, highlight over to K, let go, at right click on the selected area, and hide. All right, so we're going to post the transaction first. So first transaction, sold merchandise for cash, sales price, and the cost. So if we sold merchandise for cash, first question is, is cash affected? We're going to say, yeah, cash is affected. We sold it for cash. Cash is going up. We got more of it. And cash has a debit balance. We're going to make it go up by doing the same thing to it, which is a debit to cash. So I'm going to copy the cash. I'm going to put that on top. Right click, paste it, one, two, three, the date being five, one. We sold it for 110,000. We're also going to credit something, 110. I'm going to represent credits within this worksheet with a negative number, 110000. Notice that we don't have any 